Well, Heavenly King, we come from the spirit of truth, we're going to do for those old things. We're going to do blessings and give her a life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from the impurity and save our soul from the one. Glory to God in the highest and earth, peace and will to you, amen. Well, Heavenly King, we come from the spirit of truth, we're going to do for those old things. Treasury of blessings and give her a life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from the impurity and save our soul from the one. Slow the future boldness in the midst of the millennium. O heavenly King, the comfort of the spirit of two and one word for this all things. Treasure of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide with us and let us in every impurity and save our souls to run. O Lord, with all my lips and my mouth, so show forth thy praise. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the salvation of our souls, Oh, 
Lord, thy is the majesty, and thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages, of ages.
Father, to thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into ages of ages.
Peace be unto you who has lived to all of us. Amen. So we know from our review of the liturgical year that on the Sunday before the great Lenten fast begins, the Sunday of the Last Judgment, our Lord gives us some criteria for how we can enter the kingdom of God. One of the things that he says to us is, feed the hungry. Remember the disciples said, but when do we see you hungry? What does he say to them? As you do it to the least of my brethren, you do it to me. A recent study showed, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, 
that Americans put enough food in their garbage disposals to feed about 35% of the world's hunger. Think about that. 35% of the world's hungry can be fed by the food that we throw away every day. One recent estimate said that Americans throw away $10 billion in food a year. Imagine what we could do if we put that in the right place. In the gospel this morning, imagine you're in the crowd. You've all heard about this preacher, Jesus of Nazareth. And you listen all day to his preaching, and you watch him heal other people. But there's so many people, you can't get to him, so you're tired, and you're frustrated, you're angry. And now it's starting to get dark. And you're hungry. And children as they are want to be are whining, and they're fussing, and they're crying. They're hungry, right? What's the new term? Angry. But then you hear that Christ is feeding the people. And you're amazed that the bread and the fish are coming back to you. How is this possible? Right? How can this be, Lord? And we know, of course, with God, all things are possible. In our case, as Orthodox Christians, here in America, the greatest country of the world, I'll put that in quotes, I'm not sure spiritually if we are, here in America, we can do something about that. There's a wonderful concept that I encountered with one of my brothers several months ago. One of his prisoners has what he calls a justice envelope. Every time he treats himself or his family out to dinner or buys a candy bar or ice cream, any food item for himself or his family, he puts the cost of that item in his justice envelope. And his priest said to him, why don't you call it a charity envelope if you're going to give it to the poor? He goes, no, no. Everything I have, everything I've gotten, is because of God's love for me. What he's given me, it's been a gift. I'm paying on my debt that I owe to God. All of us are in debt to God for what he's given us. Maybe it's time we all sort of started our own justice envelopes. Whatever we collect weekly, give it to the church, to give to the hungry. God bless you. Let us say with all our soul, with all our mind, let us say.
Lord have mercy. Pray for the blessing of all the Orthodox patriarchs, the best of the fathers of this holy house, for all our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters, the Orthodox departed this life before us, especially the newly departed Henry and Lindsay, our commander Polycarp, the Archpriest Angelo, Sir Blingo, Paul, the handmaiden Stephanie, Eli, Eugene, John, Sophie, and Emilia, Misha, Jordan, Jonathan, the Bartlett, Stella, Devin, Ellen, Jane, Mitchell, and Malayo, Billy, Pizza, Marsha, Olga, Vlada, Joseph, Milica, James, and Betty, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Let me pray for mercy, life, peace, out, salvation, visitation, for the servants of God, the handmaid Eva, the brother Namas, Christopher Stephen, Violet, Susan, Michael, Charles, Melba, Melanie, Helen, Eli, Melba, Dorothy, Betsy, Nancy, Milan, Stella, Gary, Margaret, Peter, Presbyterian, Linda, and James. And for the pardoning mission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who may offer any good works in this holy home of the house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who wait my great and rich mercy.
Sing the triumphant hymn, shout it proclaiming, and sing.
one who throws the Lord Lord his grace, of Father Bishop of your name, grant him all holy church in peace, save the honor of the length of days, run to define the word of thy truth. And all I grant that with one mouth and one heart we praise all the just of him, of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into ages, of And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ shall be with all of you. And with your spirit. And we're going to the again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For so the person who offer and sanctify, let us pray to the Lord. That all of those men come and receive it upon this holy and the other Lord, there is a sweet spirit of fragrance. Well, set down upon his birth of thine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For I bring this small affliction and wrath, danger and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, and mercy us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the holy, be perfect, holy, peaceful, sinless, let us ask the Lord. And in the peace of heaven, we are in our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Our mission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. All things are impossible to our souls and peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Son, with whom thou art blessed, 
Hear from the Holy Good and Light Green Spirit, now and ever to ages of ages. Let us attend. The holy things are for the holy. What if I
John, who sells the marks of the present and uncle, who the new subject this day, our holy friends and teachers, our patron saints, Salva, Saint Simeon, our saints, Max and Peter, to the visible Australia, the venerable Saint Nicolai Gicha, the venerable saints, Madani, who lived in the most Sebastian and Jackson, commemorating the great martyr Marina this day, of the holy and righteous ancestor of God, Joachim and Anne of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us. For his good and for this mankind. Amen. The prayers of our Holy Fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, and mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Thank you, dear Father. God bless you. Wonderful today, inspiring and uplifting. As you always are. Steve, no, no, no. Wow. Mark that down on our calendar. Unless you want to go to Dorsh Day and Danny's birthday. That's okay. One more time. A <laughs> um, couple of special things coming up in our parish. First of all, Wednesday morning is the feast of St. Elijah the Tishbite, the prophet, while the festival happens at 9 30. But two important events coming up in our, in our parish. The first one, of course, is um, the 120th anniversary celebration of the Dosses and Kolo, the Dosses and Sisters. And I know some of us, myself included, are thinking, wow, this is going to be a lot of work for our parish. It's on Monday, got Sunday night vigil, Monday liturgy, ordination. I would challenge you not to look at it that way. Of the 47 parishes in our diocese, His Grace McDowell's to host this celebration. Think about that. Of the 47 parishes in our diocese, he asked Saint Salvador McKeesport who came to do this. So we need to do it. We need to do it as best we can. So we're going to need your help. We're going to need your presence. Okay. So mark that on your calendars. I know Nick has sent the choir dates for choir rehearsals. We have some short music, but new music to learn for the ordination. So please uh, make, make yourselves available for that. You know what? Father Stephen just keep up. Go. <laughs> oh, yeah. The deadline for our parish trip to Ellis Island. It's a 9 11 memorial. I need to sleep in the What you got? Yes, you can get both of The deadline for signing up for the parish trip to Ellis Island to 9 11 and at the St. Vladimir Seminary is, is this Wednesday, August, uh, this Tuesday, August the 1st. So please, uh, if, you, if you want to do that, uh, go online to the link on our, on our Saints of website. Okay? Um, Taste of Serbia is coming up. It's in the bulletin. Our anniversary song of Kokov is also in the bulletin. Please mark your calendars appropriately. Okay? No, 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 no. Tell me. No, many years. I'm sorry. God bless you all. 